Hello Sagittarius gang, welcome to your weekly reading of the 12th right up to the 18th of April. I have done some tarot cards for yourselves to see what's in store for you through this week. Um, there is also some type of clarifying cards I've done for you also for this time. So I'm going to jump right into your reading now and tell you what is what. So the first card we have for you that come out is the Hermit. So you are going to spend a lot of time um, focusing on yourself, having a lot of um, soul searching time, maybe just look, seeking out some type of knowledge at this time as well. Um, so spending a lot of time being unattached and alone. You have the temperance card, so you will be um, either having some money restrictions or testing the waters out to you and a person or money situation or there is a sense of um, having balance within a rela uh, relationship or a situation that you are going to be going in with. Reverse world, so something is not full circle yet, so something is not um, completed, is um, of a karmic nature, so whatever you are actually going through with you know with the temperance and with the hermit feeling lonely and unattached and searching some knowledge and testing things out trying to find some balance you are going to be trying to um sort something out and try and get things to come to a full circle into a, a full completion you have the two of pentacles so this is juggling either two situations um, or juggling something of money wise or an uh, idea. You have the Queen of Pentacles, so this is a hard working person. It could be male or female, it doesn't matter. This is a person that could be um, a hard working parent, someone that's determined to be um, a good housewife or a good husband. There is a sense of being very professional, so you might have a business, um, this may be a business person or professional person you're going to be um, going to be around, and it is a sense that they may be a little bit domineering as well at this time. You have the reverse nine of swords, so this is about coming out of you know any anxiety, any depression, anything that is. Um, making you have nightmares, anything that's making you feel down, you are going to be overcoming it in this week. You have the star card, so there's a lot of wish fulfillment coming in, a lot of prosperity and abundance on the way. Um, whatever you've been hoping and wishing for is actually coming out for you. There is a lot of um, hope and brightness that's on the horizon for you as well. You have the King of Pentacles, so this could be yourself or someone else that um, has their own business. It may be um, a married person, someone that has a lot of um, financial gain, have their own business, um, can be a bit arrogant when they want to be, but they have that sense of being very powerful. This person may be a Taurus. Eight of Swords, so there is going to be a lot of like anxiety and some type of mental conflicts and mental thinking about things overthinking things at this time um which could be giving you a lot of frustrations and not knowing where to turn to and not knowing more step to take next the moon there is going to be some type of delays and focusing on your own shadow self and your own worth this may be an Aquarius sign that you may be linking up to as well. Um, there's a sense of emotions being up and down and um, it's like your own shadow self is coming out to play at this time. You have the Magician, so you are going to be manifesting something good or something bad. So something is um, coming out that is um, being manifested. There may be some uh, money fluctuations or being offered something that you don't want. It may be an offer of love or an offer of a job. Something that you don't want and you couldn't care less about, so to speak, is um, 
coming out and being handed to you, but you just not focusing on that, you're focusing on something else. Four of Pentacles, for some of you, there is many improvements on the way. For others, this is about, you know, saving a lot of money, keeping things close to you, um, holding on to something dearly to your heart and not letting go, um, and keeping things close to your heart. For others, this is like not opening up to someone about feelings. Seven of Pentacles, this is a lot of like work frustrations. No, you've got to work hard on a certain situation. Um, but there is that, that sense of um, whatever hard work that you need to be doing, you know it's got to be done. But you know it's a lot of effort that you've got to be putting in. Reverse King of Swords, this is about someone that can be a bit arrogant. This could be a person that could be a um, manipulator, someone that's cold-hearted, someone that could be abusive, someone that uh, sways a lot. So this may be some type of authority figure that is um, not the best or someone that's not of a good art. Six of Wands, there is victory coming in for you. There is a, a letter or a telephone call a message um, or public recognition that's coming in for you at this week. It is a sense of um, success that's on the horizon for you. There is going to be an ending to a situation, to something that's been very, very difficult for you at this time. Um, it may be an ending of a relationship or an ending of a situation. You have the strength card. You are going to have a lot of courage, a lot of strength. Um, and a lot of bravery at this time to try and pursue on moving forward. This could be um, the card of a Leo zodiac sign that you may be um, linked to throughout this week as well. Ace of Wands, there is a new beginning, new prospects, new projects, new ideas, some type of creation coming in. And for other of you, this may be a sense of a new birth that's on the horizon. Page of Cups, this is some good news coming in. This may be to do with the Pisces. There may be Pisces that's coming in to talk to you and tell you that they got some good news for you. Um, but others in general, there is some type of good news that's coming in for you. And this could be linked to um, your own beliefs, not believing what others are saying, you know, just always thinking about that your beliefs matter the most so listening to your own self okay then so i'm going to be clarifying these cards for you to see um why they have come out for you so with the hermit you've had the card of the high priestess so at this time you are going to be yeah feeling a bit lonely but you're going to be thinking very deep you may have some type of spiritual awakening at this time. Uh, you may be thinking about a lot of secrets that you have or know things before things happen. It may be some type of good spiritual ascending for some of you that you are going to be um, having at this week also. Um, it could be linked to someone that is very positive and fiery that's coming into your um, atmosphere, into your... Um, your energy feels with someone that is very good, someone very positive, but they have that fiery um, nature about them. There is um, a sense of you coming out of any trouble waters, maybe that you are trouble with this person that's a fiery sign, someone, but they're very positive and they're very outspoken. So maybe you coming out of arguments and whatever situation that you have, um, you will be coming out of that and you'll be going into smooth waters and moving on. And for some of you, I can see you either moving to a new place or moving um, different places in general. There is happiness that's coming in, some type of um, completion coming in, success. Um, for some of you, I'm sensing it is a big part of your celebration that is in order for you. You are going to be coming out of any chains that you've been attached to, any toxic relationships that's going to be gone, um, being around anyone negative, you know, you, you're going to be coming out of that. So anything that doesn't serve you any longer, 
is no longer going to be um, attached to any longer. You're going to be getting rid of her. You are going to have a lot of rest and rejuvenation, look after yourself. There may be something that you have a lot on your mind, so you need some time out. You may have a lot of decision making that you want to be doing, um, but you just want that time out, you know, to think things through and have that, um, that rest and that relaxation. For some of you, you may have some type of illness or sickness or something around this time. Nothing too major. Where some of you have had a lot of burdens, um, there is going to be a lot more burdens coming in. Um, and this could be taking a toll at you on this time. Okay, so with different clarifying cards now about um, like the love side of this week. You have the clock card with you need a lot of time. So that's basically like with that, um, the rest and rejuvenation card. Um, so you need time to heal. Um, there is still some cycles that you are going to be healing. But there is going to be some steady process coming in for you. You have the photograph. So you are either looking through your photos at this time or someone is looking through photos with you in it. Um, there will be a sense of nostalgia and the need to make some new memories. You have abundance. So if you keep a positive mindset at this time, you will manifest exactly what you want. And this could include gratitude and bliss also. With the temperance card then, this is about balancing things out. You have the death card. So there is going to be um, an end into a certain situation that you needed um, to balance out where you're testing the waters or something. There's an ending to that, ready for a new beginning to come in for you. And this could be linked to some type of justice that's coming in and is coming in your favour. Um, it could be to do with um, court case, legal documentation or finding a balance in a situation. You have the card of the Emperor. So there is someone that's going to be a stabilised influence that's coming into your life. Or there is some type of stability that is coming in strong for you. You have the card then of the boat. So you will be receiving exactly what you need. There is progression coming in. Something is going to be arriving or someone. There is moving on and some closure issues. You have the butterfly. So some relationship is going to be evolving and going to the next step. Um, healing the own inner child and there will be some growth coming in. Stabbed in the back, there may be a little bit of heartbreak, pain and separation and some deception and some type of shocking attack at this time. Keys on the ring, there's going to be many options in the works for you. There is going to be a decision making. Um, either you are going to be stringing someone along or someone's going to be stringing you along. And there is a one night stand in the works. With the reversed wheel, which is about something that isn't not complete, could be something to do with um, nothing, you know, what you wanted is not going in your favour, it's not the right time, um, you're not working hard enough for something to actually come to completion. You have the card of the cassette, which is, you know, overthinking things um replaying events over in the head overthinking a lot with the lightning card there is a sudden change some type of shocking news coming in a surprise upheaval transformation and a epiphany with the two of pentacles this is balancing out two things or many options um this is linked to some type of either third party situation or to do with some hurt that you've been going through. Um, it could be also to do with some type of jealousy that's um, been involved. And there is to be a short journey coming in for you, you know, trying to look forward to your future and to see um, what step you want to take next. You have healthy choices with make healthy choices in love and life. Um, have some self-love, self-care, and you will be happier. 
Queen of Pentacles is about that hard working um, person that could be professional and business domineering. There is improvements coming in, um, wishes fulfillment, maybe you're manifesting this person in, or this is you having um, good success coming in, or having your own business coming in. There is um, someone that is going to be a little bit cold hearted. They may have either you are going to be cutting someone out of your life or someone's cutting you out of their life. Um, I'm getting some of you, there is someone cutting someone out of a will or an inheritance at this time. But there is someone that is going to be seeking some truth also. Separation card. There is sadness, missing you thinking about you, yearning for you, and unsure of the future. The snake, so there is a bit of competition in the works, um, could be including an enemy, someone that is clever, someone that's malicious, sense of looking over your shoulder, and something to do with an other woman. <coughs> Self-indulgence, focus on, focusing on yourself, Knowing your own self-worth, having time to heal and do some shadow work and have some type of self-appreciation. Love, having unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection and attraction. Ascending, so transcending any obstacles in your way, learning expansion new phase and preparing for a union girl talk spending time with friends moving on being happily single living in the moment and also having fun with the reverse nine of swords this is about um coming out of any anxiety or depression um there is someone that's coming in to help you with this situation um, they're coming in to help you with a helping hand. And this could be to do with getting together with another person. It could be to do with a love situation. Or it could be just getting together with someone in general. Um, to have um, some type of peace of mind. And work through things. For some of you this could be to do your plans, hopes or your wishes. And others it could be linked to some type of betrayal, some theft or someone that's um, been very deceptive to you. Seven of Cups, some options, some choices that's in the works. Karmic relationship, so this is to do with someone that keep fleeing from a relationship. Someone that has a lot of triggers, you may have triggers. There may be turmoil, resentment and lessons. Letting go and also loving you the palm tree there is some stability and security and permanence and growth endurance and flexibility heart with the key so welcoming in love meeting the the one um opening your heart getting together and things may end up being perfect the dragonfly being light-hearted finding out something things come into light adapting changing and healing the phoenix a new phrase um rekindling renewing something a transformation growth and a changed mind the coffin endings for a new beginning growth change liberation and transition with the star card, with hopes, wishes um, and faith, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So things are coming in your favour. You are going to have a lot of success. There is going to be completion over something that you've been wishing and hoping for. There may be a journey overseas as well. And there is a happy outcome with the Four of Wands. So either some type of commitment, marriage, um, going to a new home or meeting up with people to celebrate and then there is a sense of not being deciding anything anymore um coming out of that decision making and knowing um what situation or what decisions and choices you want to make 
healing art, so healing from a heartbreak, freedom from a toxic relationship or a addiction. Addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block and restraint. Grim Reaper, the relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform your life. The mirror card then, which is mirroring each other's self-images, relationships reflect on our wounds and there is to be some type of introspection. The chaser, a chaser in a codependent relationship and fear of abandonment issues. With the king of pentacles, this is about someone that is successful, someone that has their own business. Someone that can be a bit arrogant, but they're maybe a Taurus sign and, you know, they could be a bit powerful. There is celebration coming in. So this person may be coming in to celebrate and help you. And there is either a marriage or some type of success coming in the works as well. You have the sword and rose, which is a clarity to a certain situation. Truth being revealed. Revelation, solidarity, force, honour, protection and power. You have the coffee cup, so meeting and conversing with someone, savouring the moment, feeling uplifted and a friendship. Eight of Swords, a lot of frustrations, a lot of mental conflict. You have someone that is coming in with a message. So we have had a lot of frustrations. You've been waiting for something to come in, and it's finally on the on the way. Um, the with the message and whatever you've been waiting for is actually coming in. You have the wedding rings. So coming into union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Hand of cards, which is taking a chance, risk being strategic, options, not showing a hand, and gambling. Talking, so being interested in someone or something, conversing more. A awaited message, is it going to be arriving? A text, a call, or email, or call run. With the moon card, where there's a lot of delays and deception, and a lot of emotions being up and down. You have the card of frustration, so you are going to be very, very frustrated. Um, and this is linked to all your emotions and whatever situation that you're going to be going through. Um, you're going to be on top of it. Even though there's a lot of frustrations, you are going to be on top of it. There is someone that is coming in um, very quick, very fast. There may be a person that's always in and out of their lives. Uh, and there is a sense of um, a situation that's going to be done pretty quick and over and done with so to speak there is something that's coming in that is very unexpected and comes to you as a surprise something that you didn't see come in you have the card of kisses unconditionally loving giving receiving affection and falling in love the golden mirror so someone that is very self-absorbed a narcissist a one-sided relationship and love bombing not enough so being frustrated in a relationship a lack of confidence self-sabotage fear or ego issues and jealousy with the magician where there's manifesting something that could be good or bad there is um there is a movement coming in there is a victory over a problem or situation there may be something to do with um, traveling or going on a journey or having a new vehicle there is something that's coming in that's going to be moving um, forward for you you have the camera card so reminiscing having something as a keepsake perception learning from the past and making memories twin flames yin yang Zen, balance, union, duality, 
coupling and this person and you complement each other and engagement ring so either being engaged or going to be engaged um partnership commitment eternity completion and a union <clears throat> Okay, four of cups, this is being offered something you don't want or something you um, don't expect and it can come in a form of some type of money loss or losing out on someone or losing out on a situation, feeling like you've lost everything but you haven't. So there may be a sense of guilt and regrets that's in the works. Um, there is things coming into full completion with money agreement, money contentment, um, either some inheritance or something along that lines or having a family business. And then being very generous by giving and receiving and helping people out. Deal with the snake. So someone that's an empath, a narcissist, being charmed or used enabling something and boundaries okay four pentacles so either saving up for something or keeping something close to your heart that is linked to traveling overland so maybe you saving up to go on a new holiday or to go traveling some sort or to go buying a new house over land, overseas. There is someone that is very gentle, emotional, um, shy, um, keep themselves themselves. They may be a water sign. It's a sense that this person, um, they have a lot of respect. This may be someone that is coming in to you with some offer. With this card which is a date card so meeting someone new dating getting back out there planning and setting a date so maybe planning and setting a date with this person that's coming in for you seven of pentacles is you know a lot of frustrations to do with some type of work um or situation knowing that some type of hard work got to be done and this is could be linked to um a friend that you um working for um but there is a sense of moving forward, taking a leap forward, um, having a new beginning, um, for there to be some type of good happiness on the horizon. Um, things may go to a standstill, but you are going to feel a bit more stronger in yourself to pursue and moving forward. Um, there may be some type of delays and de uh, deliberation that you'll be going through. And it could be to do with someone that's in the past that's coming in for the present to you. You have Cupid's arrow with half faith because love is coming. A surprise invitation or meeting is on the horizon. And then it says some type of hesitation coming in for some of you. Reverse King of Swords about someone that can be a manipulator, someone that's not very good, someone that curse a lot, someone that is cold hearted. Um, coming in, there is um, uh, no decision making on this person. Um, so I'm sensing like there ain't going to be no peace and harmony linked to this person. So someone's going to come in and say something, but we want peace and harmony and things are not going to go right. There's some type of complication in the works. There's someone that's coming out being restless, outspoken, ambitious, um, that's a leadership type of um, person that uh, got a business. Um, there is peace of mind and contentment, either you're single or this person's single. Um, have a lot of good wealth, prosperity, abundance, looking after themselves. Oh, excuse me. Reverse five of wands, this is like no argument, no arguments any longer. Um, either apologizing to each other, um, and some type of forgiveness that's coming in. Six of wands, some victory news coming in, um, public recognition, 
um, a letter or news coming in is something to do with a love romance situation so someone coming in with some type of communication about a romance we have paradise there's going to be happiness expansion joy playfulness oneness and enjoying each other you have the ten of swords so there's an ending to a situation um could be to do with something to do with um, someone that's younger than yourself someone that's a student um that's going to be traveling over land um you have a card of i like you so someone like you romance is blooming fun flirting and want to date passion having insane chemistry liking each other equally and having fun seduction attraction flirting dating hooking up temptation third party interference okay next card is about strength having strength and courage having bravery to come forward um maybe to make the first move in a relationship or for things to actually come together i'm sensing it could be to do with um a leo or gemini maybe that's coming in for you you have the ace of wands so with it is new new um new birth coming in new beginning new idea some type of creation coming in this is linked to some type of um news coming in it could be to do with um someone coming in to say that they've got feelings for you or some type of offer coming in um but then there it is um the sense of not dealing with something being hurt avoiding the conversation or call or a person having boundaries but still being angry over a certain situation page of cups this is having good news coming in um this is linked to some type of decisions um pending on some type of judgment so you may be involved in something um some type of decision making and it's actually coming to the final um results and this could be to do with someone that's watching locking and stalking you they may be gaslighting something or having some type of perception or focusing out the last ones then is the higher front where you you know having your own self-beliefs this could be linked to do with money coming in some type of contentment with material well-beings some type of um wish that you've been wishing for you know believe in your own beliefs and knowing that your wishes are going to come true and this could be to do with you know some type of improvements that's coming in for you linked to some um a teamwork or working on something or working on a situation with someone okay then that is your reading i hope you will resonate please like share subscribe hit the notification bell and i see you again soon bye